Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing. We get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke was reappointed overnight by the Senate's Banking and Finance Committee. The vote, 16 to 7 in favour. Now, this has been a hot debate in the last couple of weeks. Will the Fed Chairman be reappointed? He's supported by the President. But his reappointment hearings turned into a lightning rod for debate about the role of the Federal Reserve and whether America should have spent so much money, particularly taxpayers' money, in bailing out banks and also bailing out the entire economy. His reappointment became a lightning rod for dissent about the US Federal Reserve. Meanwhile, in New Zealand, Allied Farmers' shares fell as low as 13 cents from 19 cents, more than 30 per cent at one stage, on less than a million shares traded yesterday. Remember, Hanover Finance investors will get their shares in Allied Farmers next week, close to 2 billion shares. Remember, 25 per cent of those shareholders didn't want this deal to go ahead and are likely to sell their shares. We'll see what happens when a couple of hundred million shares hits the market in the next couple of months. Meanwhile, National Australia Bank surprised everyone by buying AXA Asia Pacific. Now that's in Australia and New Zealand. They've trumped a bid by AMP. That means BNZ in New Zealand, which is owned by National Australia Bank, will be the proud owner of AXA's uh, group of financial advisors in New Zealand. That means that of the big financial advice groups uh, and fund managers, ING is now owned by ANZ and AXA will be owned by BNZ, which leaves pretty much AMP out on its own. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you on December the 18th.